accessing library resources through the student portal. Go to the Yuba College website. Type in the URL yc.yccd.edu into your browser's address field. Look in the upper right corner of the web page and click on My Campus Portal. Log in with your Yuba College email address and the same password you use for your WebAdvisor account. When you see the window pop up, you start with your college email. Click on the password field and type the password you use for WebAdvisor. Then press OK. Now you're logged in. You have access to My Campus YCCD. In the upper left corner, you should see a blue circle with the words My Campus YCCD. Just below that, you will see the words Student Resources. Hover or click on this link and it will provide you a means to access the library's resource page. Find the link for library and select it. At the bottom of the library resource page, in bold and blue, you will see a link to the online library catalog. Navigating this link will lead you to the online library catalog. Type in your keyword search. In this case, let's use the word nutrition and press go. The search returns just over 400 matches. Not all books are available at Yuba College. Some belong to the Sutter Center, Woodland, and the Lake campuses. There are also titles available as ebooks. This one, Realities of Nutrition, is a real book. Press the availability link. Notice that it says 613.2 D489N. This is the call number. Write that down. This will enable you to find the book on the shelf. That is the basic search for a book. Now let's go back to the library resource page and find popular databases at the top of the page. This demonstration will show a very popular service named ProQuest. Continuing our research on the topic of nutrition, you enter that search word and press enter on the keyboard. It returns over 560,000 results. That's an awful lot. You may want to look down through the list. Some are government documents, journal articles, and newspaper articles. But these articles may not be zeroed in on exactly what is needed for your research. So go back to the top and add another word. Let's add the word child. Type in the search term child nutrition and press the enter key. And the return shows fewer results, just over 192,000 articles. However, even that is a lot of articles to browse through for usefulness. So let's add another search term to child nutrition. Type the word public. Oh, the suggestion is public schools. That returns over 78,000 listings, still quite a few, but the most relevant articles are going to be towards the top of the search. Notice the mortar boards, the graduation caps. These icons indicate that these are peer-reviewed articles from professional journals. There are newspapers, and other magazine articles also listed in the search results. So here's one, Changing Nutrition Standards in Schools, the Emerging Impact on School Revenue. Let's click on the full PDF, and you get a perfect facsimile of that article. After you browse the article, you may decide the article is useful, and that you want to use it for your research. Now what? It can be printed if that's available, but the best probably is to email it to yourself. Select that option and type in your email address. You should type in your name so you know that you sent it to yourself. Fill in the other additional information. Select what type of citation style. Most English classes will use MLA. Other classes might use other formats. Then press the send button off it goes. Now to return to your research results, 
select Back to Results. Take time going through the rest of the articles and gather them for your research. If you just want scholarly journals, there is a link for source type on the right side that will only show you peer-reviewed scholarly articles, which most instructors prefer. Returning to the library resource page, you'll see listed over two dozen different databases. Some of the more specialized databases provide information on specific topics or formats. For example, near the bottom of the list, under the heading of Science and Health, there are databases focused on topics that are useful for the students in the nursing program. All of these powerful databases can provide the information needed to produce high-quality research papers for your classes. The best practice is to make an early start when assigned a project and take the time to learn how to conduct effective searches for articles in any of the databases you choose. You will see that many of the databases differ in how they conduct a search and in their formats. Good luck and have fun doing your research.